Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 50 for subtraction questions. Now in the previous tutorial, we used the vertical format. In this tutorial, we're going to use a slightly different method. So let's have a look at the two questions we're going to be working through. We've got 43 minus something equals 35. That's the first one. And the second one we have is the missing number first, something minus 12 equals 34. So those are our two questions with the missing numbers in different positions. Now let's have a look at the first one. We've got 43 minus something equals 35. Now don't forget, the objective is to make sure that we get the missing number, that's the box, on one side of the equal sign. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take this box and swap it with the 35. So we've got 43 minus 35 equals the missing number. Okay. So the missing number is now on one side of the equal sign. And now what we're going to do is, we're going to add numbers, not use the vertical format, we're going to add the number to 35 to make it equal to 43. This is very good for mental arithmetic uh, practice and you don't need a pen or paper. I'm just showing you all the workings. So have a look at the units. We've got five units. How many do we need to get to? We need to get to three. So what number do we need to add to five to make it equal to three? Okay. Well, we can't make it equal to three. The next number after 5, which has got 3 as the units, is 13. So what number added to this 5 is going to give us 13? The answer is 8. 5 plus 8 is 13, and we're carrying one over because it's 13. Now on to the tens. How many tens do we have? Well, we don't have 3. We carried one over. So 3 plus 1 is 4. How many do we need to get to? Well, we need to get to 4. So we don't need any. Okay, we don't need any. It's already at 4. So therefore, our answer is, and let's write it down, is 8. We can write this in the original question. 43 minus 8 equals 35. Now, it's, Im it's important you learn this method because this is, as I've said earlier, very good for mental practice, uh, sorry, for mental arithmetic. And in order to get the practice, you can do this then you can work with much, much larger numbers. Okay, on to the second one. This time we've got the missing number first. So what do we have to do? We have to get the tw take the 12 and move it to the right-hand side. So let's do that. We've got the missing number okay, equals 34. And because we're taking the 12 across, it was minus. This time it becomes 12. On the other side it becomes 12. So it's a missing number equals 34 plus 12. Now what do we do here? Well, let's add the tens. We've got 30 plus 10. So 3 plus 1 is 40. Now we can add the units. We've got 4 and 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. So therefore the answer is 46. We can write this in the original question, 46. 46 minus 12 equals 34. So the missing number is 46. So this is a slightly different method to the one we've used in the previous tutorial. And that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 50 for subtraction questions.